I'm pretty sure that you will stop using V0 and Bolt after watching this video because I'm going to show you the simplest way, probably the most efficient and also the most stable way to launch your SaaS without writing a single line of code using AI. So I have designed a directory after watching the Greg Eisenberg's The Startup Ideas podcast with John Rush and I decided to create this directory using data button. So here I managed to create the front end, back end, data store, everything within a single platform. And the best part is that it also supports Firebase Google login, probably only one of the very few agents that lets me use a Firebase sign in with Google without writing a single line of code. And I'm going to show you every single thing that I did so you can successfully launch your side project or uh, your ideas into your side project, which is very much like what I've been trying to do. So let's get started with the video. To get started, all you have to do is go click new app. After you click new app, you just basically describe what you want to do. In my case, I want to get a startups directory. I'm going to select chat CN at this point and then go ahead with this. Once you select this, this is going to basically allocate a workspace for you. And you can see the agent right away started working on what my requirement is, which in this case is a startups directory. I don't know how many of you have seen directories. So if you see a uh, startups directory, so it would look like something like this. Uh, not now, please. Um, so yeah, so in this case, it's a YC directory, but generally directories are something like this. So you can go list your company, and you can search for the company. The company will have certain attributes and all those things. And this is almost exactly what we are trying to design here. So I'm going to go ahead with the preview on desktop. The agent is at this point writing my code. One thing that you would notice with data button, which is quite different from many other agent is data button is highly opinionated. So it's got a very strong uh, sense about the stack that it wants to follow. It's not going to let you use any stack. So there are like pages here. And the way the files are organized, like the structure here also would remind there was a design paradigm or design pattern. It's called MVC, M stands for model view controller. This is something that we used to use a lot at that time because it was a design paradigm that separated the view file, which is the UI file and also the model file and the controller file. So data button reminds me very much uh, similar to that. If you want to add a button, you can just go say, I want to add a button and it knows that it has to add it as a UI component. And honestly, this has been one of the biggest complaints that I've received about cursor, especially for non programmers. So you are going very well with cursor. Suddenly you want to like make some change. You're asking cursor and cursor goes and changes uh, files across your code base, like multiple files across the code base. And then it's very hard for you to go back to the previous state. I think data button would not have that problem primarily because it organizes the files in this particular fashion. So it's easier for it to understand for the agent to understand. What is a particular section? It has to go make changes and you can see that as it starts making changes, you can see what is happening here. So at this point, it has basically created the types file, the store file. I think store is mostly like the data store and uh, it's got, oh, it started with an error. Let's, let's see what's going to happen. So there is a filter bar. There is a config file. There is an app page and you can also basically see all the things that uh, that has happened. Okay. So our startup directory is available startup directory. So there are a couple of startups here, tech flow green and I think this is all like fake startups. You can click the website and you can select the filter. So you have two filters. One is the industry and funding. This itself is like quite amazing to be honest. Like I can go here and then search green energy. Okay. I can search for green energy, very similar, like what we saw here, like Airbnb. So I can search for amplitude and it, yeah, it shows like amplitude and similar companies. So, we have already made a huge uh, improvement here, but obviously I can't make money off this. Why? Because there are certain features that are missing. So you can see the data button right away suggests me few things like enhance search functionality, redefine the card design, add sorting options, um, optimize mobile. So I'm going to start with by saying that the typography or typography here is very like old school. So I want it to be modern. Okay. So that's the first thing that I'm going to ask. So the design and uh, typography look very uh, basic, like um, old, old school. Can you please modernize it? Okay, let's see. Uh, and another thing is we do not right now have a feature that says like add a button, add your startup or something. So we want to have that particular feature available. 
while the agent is designing or modernizing your application, I'm going to show you the best feature of data button, which is Firebase authentication. So I've got a Firebase project already where I've got all the necessary configuration available. So this is basically a Google's Firebase where you can easily add social logins. And in this case, I'm going to just do Google auth, Google login. So I've got this setup. So I'm going to go back to data button here. And there is this small icon here that would show you what all things you can do. So um, extensions right now, they've got the Firebase extension, but the team told me that they would also get Stripe soon. So install Firebase auth. And here you can see that this is this thing available, which I can literally copy from there and then come back and then paste here. After I pasted it, it's going to start installing whatever is required to use Firebase, like Google login. And uh, to enable this, also one thing that you have to do is if you have the Firebase account, you have to authorize data button.com as an authorized domain within your Firebase setting. So that's something that you have to do. And also within sign in method, so I've already added Google. So if you are not familiar with Firebase thing, please let me know. I'll make a separate video where I go through all the Firebase setup, but my, I assume most of you might know that. So I don't want to like duplicate what you already know here. So once we have that, then we have the Firebase thing enabled. So you can see right now we have got two more pages, which was not available before. So initially we had only home. Now we have got home login and also logout. So I'm going to go see the startup directory. I'm going to go here and then first of all, enable login. So you can click this three button and enable auth. And once you do that, you can go to the login page and then you can see, okay. Okay, sign in with Google is there. So welcome to startups directory, sign in with Google. So this indicates that the Firebase authentication that we try to do has been implemented within the site. But I'm going to say, I want to add a button here, link it to the login page. Okay, so I'm going to say add. So add a submit your startup button to the nav bar and link it to the login page. Oh, Okay. And, um, also after the login page, add a small form where user can add or submit their own startup. Okay, cool. So directories are one of the easiest ways. Like there is an episode of, um, startup ideas podcast, Greg, I Greg Eisenberg, um, directories. So yeah, so you can see here, there's this episode of uh, Greg this Eisenberg episode, with John, John Rush, Rush, I guess. Yeah, John Rush, down uh, how it talks about uh, the directories, how directories are like one of the easiest ways to make money online. I got this idea from this. So thanks to both John Rush and also Greg Eisenberg for sharing this. And sometimes it also gives you the restore point. So if let's say like you're deciding that, okay, whatever I did, I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be like the starting point from which I want to branch out somewhere different then you can go to the restore point. Okay, at this point, uh, it kind of, I think works. So you can see submit your startup as a button has been added. And also you would notice the button is not like some weird color. So it has been aligned with what is this theme that we have got. So if I click this, it is basically connected to the login page. At this point, it can show the profile information. So you can be very sure that my login has worked. That's the only reason it shows my email ID. I can click submit a startup that, uh, technically ask me the details. I'm going to, so what I'm going to do at this point is that I'm going to go click deploy. I can probably sign out. doesn't matter. I guess click deploy and uh, you can mention whatever the name you want. So I'm going to just simply call it um, best AI startups. Maybe I should have a dash best AI startups. Okay. Deploy this. And once I start deploying this, you can see that it is starting to do what, um, the deployment processes within data button itself. You don't have to go, you don't have to download the code, upload the GitHub vessel. You don't have to go through the pain. You can do it. And I think you can also deploy it on custom domain. Uh, you can, uh, I think once you do this thing, it will go to their team. They'll reach out to you and then they'll deploy it on custom domain. If you want to launch this as your own startups, or like a uh, slightly more intimate support there. Uh, so it's deploying at this particular URL. Um, once it is available, we should be able to see, I'm going to go here because I don't have patience. I'm going to see that here. Okay. It's done. So we've got the startup directory, discover and connect with innovative startups across different industries, I'm going to sign in, sign in with Google. Oh, is it not? Okay. This is not authorized. Um, maybe I should go here. 
settings authorize domains add a domain add this domain add it cool come back here sign in go back to the home page sign in sign in with google okay it's done my profile is there i can submit a startup i can say little coder labs yeah 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 in sundar pichai's voice and then i've got the logo here so which is here copy image address come back here paste it select the industry and just press start of pre seed bangalore karnataka 1 to 10 and um, the website is i should ideally have a different website submit the startup the startup is available so here you go so i hope i taught you how to build your own saas or in this case a directory without missing any step let me know what you think about it but i think this is one of the easiest and simplest most stable way also the scalable way for you to go build your own saas or a directory and deploy it and you can see it's it's like quite fast to be honest like um you can go see here i can go see here uh, i have all these animations here i can search for it pre seed i should be in pre seed yeah little coder labs pre seed available and you can open it for more people to come and submit the startup we have a profile page which we can improve which probably we can have ratings and a bunch of other things so it'd be pretty nice if i can build this as a startup but let me know what you feel about data button and how you i have built basically the startups directory and if you have any idea that you want me to try out see you in another video happy prompting